What's going on everybody? I'm Jason with Buy, Build, Sell. Today we are doing a special house tour. Dennis, introduce the house. First this is all, pretty exciting. Dennis Chernoff here, so I, I wanted to- I thought it was obvious. If you guys don't know who this I'm is. Asking, but we're 3761 Mountain View. This was Jason's, if I could say that Jason, I think popped his sherry on this one. No, I, no? this was not the first one, no? but this was definitely one of the first few. This was seven years ago. I've been doing this for 11 years. Okay. So this was definitely, you know, back then we weren't doing as many as we're doing today. I don't know what number this was because, we, you know, by then we were probably already losing track of how many we had done. Yeah. But it's definitely one of the first few. Well, one of the first few maybe that you had major responsibilities. Yes, I would that, say that. Is that proper to that's, say? That's probably okay. fine. By this time, I was already running projects. Okay. So like my first few, Brad was really holding me the ball on a lot of things. By this one, I was responsible for a ton of stuff. I mean, I remember on our final inspection day, final inspection day, like building and safety is going to give us the CFO kind of clearance final check. We didn't have the fire inspection done and the water meter was the wrong size. So I remember stressing out like crazy. I had gotten the, the DWP to come to the site that day, fire signed off and then literally a minute later, the building inspector showed up. So imagine, same day, water meters exchanged to the right size, fire sprinkler gets signed off, building and all in the same day. I was like, wow. I remember like sitting right out there with Uzi and like, he was, he was ripping me apart. Tell us what you bought this for and what you sold this for. And, and I'll, tell, I'll talk about what the market is today. That's crazy, yeah. okay? Keep in mind, seven years ago, we bought this property for uh, 950, 950, I believe. She, was a, she is from an owner who runs a, probably one of the biggest title companies now. Right? Correct, yeah. yes. Let's not name her name. Yeah. But, but and she was, in, she was in real estate. That's correct. And we, we, I don't know how long it took us to build. I don't even remember, honestly, how much it cost us to build. I would guess probably somewhere between five to 600,000 uh, based, based on the numbers yeah. from what I'm seeing. And then we sold it for two, one. Two, one. So yeah. modest, modest profit at the time. Yeah. Probably, probably really great at the time, to be honest. I don't think we were like upset about that number. I think we were very happy with that number. Uh, but, but now we're, we're on the market for 3.2. Insane. We have, well, this is our first week on the market. I think I have 15 showings scheduled for the next uh, week. And, but the interesting part is if you go back to it, the land value in this neighborhood has only gone up about 30%. Okay. About one, three, one, four. But the resale and the construction cost has gone up by it's probably- Tremendously. By, tremendously. So now this Almost house started. is worth 3.2 and before it would cost five, six hundred grand to build this house. And now it's double. Now it's pretty much double. That's right, so yeah. it's strange, strange how the economics of this business change. But what you really need to pay attention to is that shelter homes stand the test of time and they just get more and more expensive. Yeah. So buy one of my houses because it's going to work out for all of you. <laughs> and buy it from Dennis. Uh, Clearly. <laughs> please. No, uh, the house is great. Uh, a little bit about the house, about almost 4,000 square feet uh, in a beautiful silver triangle pocket, which where every developer built once. Yes, this and was a once, very desirable one, area. Yeah, the pocket is unbelievable, close to Fryman, south of the Boulevard. When we started here, yeah. it wasn't that, it was very underdeveloped, it correct? Was, because it was just a lot of old I remember there's a, there's a house somewhere down the corner somewhere where everyone talked about it. it was like the first house developed in the pocket yeah. and everyone called it the mausoleum. Yeah. You remember this? The ma mausoleum is one block over to the left. On okay. The corner. That was like one of the first yeah. houses that yeah. people were like, so everyone, all the neighbors were coming up to us going, you're not building a mausoleum here, are you? Like really upset. And they'd be like, I, I don't think so. What's a, like, what is a mausoleum? Really? I, I, I know now, yeah, but I'm you know, I'm, I'm not going to say you're going to comment in the comments below. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's a, it's a, like a standing funeral uh, thing. It's where like, people are buried above ground, but like, I'm like, it was the first time where I was like, people, why are people so involved in what the design of a home is going to be? Like, why do they care? I didn't even understand. Well, the, the turnover, the turnover of the neighborhood is, is obviously what just started happening seven, eight yeah. years ago, where a lot of these older ranch, one level uh, houses, houses were getting sold. There were track homes before. Yeah. We're turning into these beautiful two story homes, which in reality, in a lot of places, there are new developments of track homes too. Because they all have a similar feel, similar taste. Uh, but this one was actually sold 
to our wonderful owner in construction. In yes, framing. in construction. That's also my first time Dealing experience. With That's not true. At Seago also had them buy, they were also bought in, Valley Village. Uh, in the middle of construction yes. as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But this was the first time that I had to deal with the client. Yes. Brad dealt with the client on Otsego, and I remember specifically they asked for radius corners yeah. on the drywall, and we had already put the drywall corners in, yeah. so we had to rip out that. But really, I didn't remember too much about their desires. This one, I mean, you don't have the memories, but I do of being the one involved with the like, owner. Like, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this, and but, all these like but things. You guys did a great job. I mean, every every detail from uh, outside, obviously from outside, with shingles, the light fixtures, the windows. Stood the lot, test of time. Stood the test of time, but also a lot of molding you use. There's a lot of great uh, woodwork in here, a lot of great details in the house that she's put in with obviously yours and Brad's help. Yeah. Uh, together. I would say, I don't know how well, like, I don't know if like it was an intentional thing on her part to uh, upkeep the home, but I'm looking at like just from the outside alone, it looks very well upkeep. Yeah. Like it looks like she probably cleaned the house a lot, took care of it. The glass still looks clean and new. Like the fixtures still look okay. well. Like normally these are completely uh, like by like they're, Frost. they're but, yeah. well, the, the, dark, yeah. and like the metal is like not black yeah. anymore. Now it's gray. Like it just kind of dilute, uh, all of it gets diluted. The, the stain is still like bright and vibrant as if like it's was painted the other day. You guys call that, it settled in nicely. Yeah. So but I mean, I get that. It all, of, all of the cedar homes that we were doing, yeah. like in the last- But this is painted, right? This, so is, this painted. is painted. Well, this is actually a stain. Stain? This is actually, this okay. is actually a, a stain. This is not painted. Okay. Um, but all of the ones that we were recently doing, like, yeah. we, like I'm already, I'm already going back to clients that we've done cedar homes on and already refreshing their homes. I don't think I've ever come back here to refresh this house or do anything. It still looks amazing. I mean, obviously there's some things, but no, 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 no major problems. No, yeah. not like I'm she, actually really she's impressed. Enjoyed this house for the last seven years greatly. Okay, uh, what do you say? We go inside. We take a little history tour yeah. of uh, this house. What what people can expect to buy if they're going to buy this place? Um, from Dennis. From Dennis. Only use him as your listing agent and your and your representation too. You should use them for both sides, right? Always. No, I, I mean, not interested in that as much as you buying a right house. But people, people ask me all the time. They're like, like, what's our story? What's our deal? Uh -huh. Because how long have we been working together? Since 2008, seven. A long right? time. Can you even guess what the percentage rate is of the houses I've sold, uh -huh. which you know is like probably over a hundred by now? Probably 90%. 90% of the houses. I, I don't know the answer, but I, I knew it was definitely in the nineties for sure. Okay. 90%. Anyways, let's go look at the house. Let's go check it out. Come on. So this front door is the first front door that I actually painted a unique color. Normally it's very simple. Red, white, black, or, or a grayish blue, yeah, blue so, yeah. right? So a big formal living room. Uh, this is great. This, this is one of the first homes I remember in this era that had uh, above nine and a half foot ceilings. These are 10 foot ceilings in the house. Uh, the living room was a really nice, spacious living room, separated by kind of an inner wall for the front dining room. Sure. We had the vinyl windows, yeah. which we don't do anymore, yeah. right? Okay, that that's a lower cost right there. That's half the cost of windows right there. Yeah. I, I personally love the vinyl yeah. windows, but yeah, okay, I get this. All right. So we, we still use the same fireplace company today. So seven years ago, that's a long relationship. That's actually good. A good relationship. Based on today, I mean, the big thing is now you can only build a 2,900 square foot house on this lot. On this lot, exactly. This is a 3,800 square foot home. They were able to fit a big powder room, and actually a very ample uh, mud room with a nice size garage, and really every room that a buyer wants. Five full bedrooms, six bathrooms, formal living, formal dining, big family room, big kitchen, breakfast room. So, there was no need to cut and shave some of the things that we have to cut and shave now when you guys are building new homes because all the restrictions from the city of LA. This Look at this. this. Yeah. This, this paneling, the story behind this paneling, these, these memories are like literally flooding back to me. This is, I had to redo this twice because the first time I did it, I put a line between the top. We had, we had split it because- So you had a similar cut on top? We had a similar cut, but it didn't, it didn't, it didn't angle. It came up the eight foot sheet that and she came in and she's like, no, I want this to be full panel. And we had to rip it off and go. And I could actually, I could still see the joint 
between the two sheets, but it still looks pretty darn good. I mean, I, that's impressive. I like it. I, don't, I wouldn't build a staircase like this anymore though. It's a little old school for me now. With the radius edges and the, the offset uh, stain on the handrail, like not matching the floor. Yeah. That, that would be a little bit not my, my thing, but it looks good. It's coming back. Dining room. These were really big yeah. back in the day. Yeah, we I don't do this as much anymore. Will, will this come back? I, I think this is classy. It's gonna, this it's is gonna, classy. It's gonna come this, back? Uh, when I sell the modern homes, the younger people who love them, they love them, but I truly feel that this is the style. That's this is forever home. This, this is a forever, forever home. home. Wow. Right. Wow. Wow, look at that. Look at this kitchen. Oh my God. Real, real marble. Yes. The, the fill rich faucets, the, the white backsplash top, when this, when this was okay to use. So this was actually a house that we actually did the cabinetry in house. Cause we used to do, I, I grew up in a cabinet shop. So we actually started uh, when we were doing our spec homes in the beginning, we were actually building all of the cabinetry ourselves in my dad's shop before we sold it and moved on to that, moved on away from that side of the business. But uh, these are all JJP customs over here. And that's it. And you have beautiful, yeah, big combination of covered ceilings again. And so normally we would we would take this space and we would make it more functional. We put like a wine cloth, a wine cabinet yeah. in here. Yeah. But I guess we didn't do that. Wine cooling system. Yeah, like a cooling, a, a, yeah. like an actual wine fridge, yeah. right? Uh, but I guess we didn't do that here. All the custom grills she put on. Oh yeah. Yeah, on the returns and on the. That's AC right. Grills. These were done by a Russian guy. Really? Yeah, the guy is Russian, and you show up into the shop, and he's constantly smoking a cigarette, and he always has an, an unlit one in the other hand. That, that, that was this guy, I don't remember his name. Uh, I guess we can call Igor. <laughs> then obviously the bifold doors, which a lot of times- Were these popular then? This was, this was the beginning of the- This front. was the beginning which, of this. By the way, I like these better than the pocket doors, because you actually get to use these doors. Meaning, wow. it's on a daily base. But how many people, you have this system? I have this one, yes, but I hate it. You hate it, but you, I have my door, I have pocket You have the slidings, and you hate it. And I hate it because I never use it. So basically what you're telling me is no one ever wins. Nobody ever wins, but nobody uses this, right? Yes. So you have a pocket door. Yeah. That's simple. What? You have an actual door you can go out in. An actual door. That's funny. Yeah. That's, that's funny. That's you guys doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but you have a nice little system here. Yeah. This was the beginning trend of doing this. Do you remember what was what was before this? Was um, it just like those sliding, the two this, sliders? The two glass panels with the, with the sliders on both sides. Right. So, it works out. And then the pool location with the waterfall, the trees. Also, another reason she loved the house, and another reason actually she loved it, there's, uh, there are no wires in the backyard here. Wow. That's so right. This was Plus, great. you have great hedging, great privacy. This is just like the Bolina project. You remember how we had no power in the backyard? This is right. nothing like Bolina. But, but I'm saying in general, power. But the privacy. The privacy yeah. And... That house was an amazing house. If you ever resell that one, we definitely have to go check that one out. Because that was an estate. That was a beautiful, beautiful home. I love that home. I love the buyers on that home. Yeah. They were so sweet and nice. Uh, I moved back to Florida. Yeah. Yeah. A free beer. That's what I could I have had. Tell us about the fire this, this is a this is a very uh, intense memory for me, because uh, like like we said, uh, this was this house was uh, purchased in the middle of construction. So, and again, you know, we're spec builders, so we're not dealing with clients as often or uh, on the regular, at least you know less then than today. You know, I remember I I bought this is all bought from probably like. Uh, Home Depot or an Ace Building supply somewhere, and she wanted gravel, and I bought the wrong size gravel. And I remember being the one I had to scoop out all of the gravel back into the buckets. I, I think we threw it into a trash can somewhere, and and I had to bring samples of all the other samples for her to choose the exact one she wanted but and this bring is, it out this here. Is plum. This is natural gas. Yes. Yeah, this is not on propane yeah. or any of the other systems. This is actual natural. But for me, that, that was like a, a burned in memory of like, double check first. Yeah. Don't just like do something. Yeah. Check. Nice lesson. Yes. It was uh, one of those Blue moments. Bluestone. Bluestone, that was yeah. hot. I mean, yeah. that was like, 
That was the thing to do. And this is random pattern bluestone. This is coming yeah. back already. People love this now. Yeah. I'm at, I get, a, you know, I have the, the Go Landscapers yeah. thing. So I'm getting a ton of requests for doing this. I, I'm not, I have this in my home and it flakes up sometimes. It does flake up, it's, it's slate. Yeah. It's gonna break, it's yeah. gonna pop, it's gonna do that. Same so, family. Yeah, same family. But this is flamed edge. So this, this has like the, this has the actual, you know, roughness of the stone. Okay. Even the pool is held up really well. I mean, you still have some discoloration, but this is really cool. Right? Yeah, I love this, yeah. man. This is like- it Brings a lot of memories. So much memories. Um, I, I, that, that doggy door, I probably had to do the framing to make that work. I had to cut it out and do all that stuff. People don't believe me, but I, I used to work. I used to be the laborer. Do you, do you remember seeing me work? Do you remember that remember. being a thing yeah. for that? I always yeah. remember Brad and Gary telling you, Jason, go dig here. <sighs> I remember, you know which one I remember that you worked the most on? Uh, Sunswept. Sunswept. I, I remember you worked your ass up on the Sunswept. What do you remember me doing there? I remember you literally digging and digging. I think they had you digging for the retaining wall in the front. Probably. The planter wall. I remember. I remember you, for some reason, my memory of Sunswept is that you dug a lot. I, I actually dug the whole entire spa at Otsego, and that Otsego. that's and I did the footings for the for the foundation. But I remember actually like sitting there with a shovel and getting through because that I think the the spa was like half up. Uh -huh. So I remember digging the actual spa for that pool. <sighs> I used to be in such good shape. <laughs> Come on, it's a different shape, but it's, uh, it's good. Bedroom obviously here. Every bedroom has its own bathroom, uh, its own closet. Suite, all yeah. Okay. Can we go upstairs? Yeah. So skylight, another great part about this house. Skylight. Tons great, of light on the yeah, second floor. Yeah, tons of natural light. Wide uh, hallway. Yeah. This is six feet. Um. It's five yeah, feet. Five. Five feet. Still pretty big though. I mean, it has enough room for a furniture piece in here, so this yeah. is pretty big. Oh man, the laundry, guys! Look at the floor in this. Look at the floor in this laundry room. Because so first of all, you can see there's like a lime green on the wall, and you got this white and red checker floor. This is linoleum. This is a linoleum floor. Uh, I installed this myself, so you'll probably find some mistakes somewhere, but it's literally like a sticker piece. So all we did was we waterproofed it and then I took the sticker and I was placing them in. I remember going to pick it up, buying it, learning how to install it and placing it and getting it done. Came out great, still, still, holds, uh, still holds up, but we don't use this in any of our builds today. Well, this was a so rare. Remember, this, she did this in here and the garage. That's right, in the garage yeah, too. The gray one in the garage. Okay. Big laundry room. All of the security system, everything runs here. Three nice, good sized bedrooms. Secondary bedrooms. And a really nice. Let's go check uh, out the master. Be correct. The main suite. The, main the, suite? the primary. The primary suite. The primary suite. suite. John knows how much I get that wrong. Yeah. Two big closets, which are great. Uh, these are beautiful cabins here with, with tempered glass doors. Shoe closet, shoe rack on the left hand side. Wow. These are nine foot. Seats. That that bead board is coming back. It's making an appearance up on the top there. You're running from the breakfast. Line. All right. <laughs> it's back in here too. And this this is this looks like a a, a color. This is not white. It's a gray. It's yeah. a gray. Okay. A light gray color, which is nice. There's a little bit of just difference. Like that's the cool thing about building for somebody is you get to be unique. When you're trying to build for spec, yeah. you have to build in that bell curve. Yeah. Right. Where everybody kind of likes. Right. This is what Gus well, Duffy right? told me. He said, you know. You got to be on the right-hand side of the bell curve, like yeah. just right past the middle. Yeah. Be be unique enough, but right in the middle there, where everyone's going to love what you're doing. And that's um, that's talk about the room. So it's, a, it's an oversized master bedroom for this size of this floor. This it, this is awfully big. Yeah. There's no couch in here, which makes it even feel bigger. Oh, look at the yeah. furniture pieces. We have yeah. Here. Two chairs, an ottoman, a big shelf. Multiple shelf, windows. Multiple, a lot of natural light facing west. Yeah, I mean, this is a very standard, this is still actually 
a pretty good layout. This yeah. is pretty much what still gets done today. So the, the biggest thing is, is we're, we're not doing these mantles very much anymore. I think that this is pretty much played, but well, but the stone is still good. The fireplaces well, are well, still- Well, the fireplaces sit by slower now. Yeah, that's what happens when you have two kids. The sleeping, uh, I just get up way too early. Uh, check out the master, master bath. Oh, so the, master, uh, the primary, primary bathroom. bathroom. This uh, is cool, this is cool. What we did is the, the basket weave is almost like this built-in uh, carpet. Uh, yeah. This built-in carpet to the sinks. That's pretty cool. I don't remember that at all. I don't remember that at all. And we have it here too, which is pretty cool. Like this literally, this like carpet shaped basket weave for the chair, it sits really nicely in there. Total nostalgia in here. This is pretty awesome. Wow, look at this. Look at that tub. Oh my God. What, Dennis, what is this? Do you remember what this brand is? Hello. Hello? Oh, excuse me. I, I thought someone else was, was on this. Yeah, sorry. Excuse me, sorry. It was the president. Trump, really? Trump won't leave office. <laughs> that's, a, that's the wrong office room. It's a large, very large bathroom, right? Steam shower. Again, more home marble throughout. Wow, this, so this is probably one of the first houses that I did a steam unit in, for it's sure. Nice no, unit. that's not true. Otsego had a steam unit also. But this one's in like great shape. Yeah. That means, that means they didn't the, use it. She kept the house very well. She really, I mean, like, uh, did you guys clean the house before you? Yep. No cleaning, no nothing? Like, it's insane how well kept this house is. Let's go take a quick tour of the uh, bedrooms so you can kind of see quickly, like, what we did in these houses. We'll check out this room first. So, again, you walk in, closet's gonna be right there, bathroom's gonna be right here. Very nice. There's like wainscoting on the top, like, tile wainscoting. A herringbone tile on the floor. A really nice tub. Go check it out. You see it? Very curious to see these built-ins. Very standard built-in. Nothing, nothing too fancy. But pretty cool. This room is like a pink room. Again, we didn't get to play with too many colors, but in this house we did. So again, different type of style, different type of thing. We're not doing this too much anymore, but the wainscoting on the tile, this was like super hot. This was like, everyone wanted to see this in the bathroom. It's really cool. This is a custom vanity that we did. It like genuinely fit this space. The reason for it is if you can see this angle right here. Okay. Now you can close the door. And you didn't hit the, you didn't hit the countertop. It's pretty cool. All right, one more bedroom. Let's go check it out. So very cool thing is that every single bathroom, and this, this holds true to today, every single bathroom is a little different. We still have the, uh, the chevron floors. I'm sorry, the herringbone floors, but all the bathroom tile on the walls are all different. Pretty cool. So this is actually a marble. All right, everybody. Honestly, Dennis, thank you so much for letting us come see the house. Uh, this is a rare treat for us. I don't really get to walk through houses that I've done before, like you know, many years ago. Obviously, we're going through them now, but uh, this was an honestly just a really fun experience for me. Really super nostalgic. I'm wishing you a ton of luck on the thank sale. You. Thank you. I hope this thing sells for a lot of money. You make a lot of money. Maybe you think about uh, splitting the commission. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, Whatever, no, no I'll pressure. Think <laughs> Go think about uh, it. I, I want to say there's a lot of history in this house, a lot of great energy, a lot of great people who worked on this project. Uh, and obviously, just yeah, you know, Jason. It's is actually amazing. really funny when you say that. Because, right. you know, when people look at a house, they don't think about the story behind it, they just right. think about everything that they can see. Uh, but, like, the house you live in, there is blood, sweat, and energy that went into that house. There's a lot of craftsmanship that went into it. And, uh, you know, sometimes you should just stop and be thankful for all those things and uh, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe think back about it. But I'm really glad that we got the opportunity to do that on this house. I'm very so, happy you guys came. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, wishing you a ton of luck. Again, 
Stats on this house, what are, what are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at about a 3,800 square foot house, uh, 6,500 6, square foot lot. We're asking 3 million one seventy nine. Uh, and we are in the Silver Triangle of Studio City, which is one of the only few flat pockets south of the boulevard in Studio City Hills. And if you mention JJP Construction 15, 15% discount. Yes. Um, well, he, he pays the 15% <laughs> just to keep his name. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. All right. All right, so uh, right now Dennis is showing the house. Man, I hope it really sells this thing. It's incredible. This is super nostalgic for me. It's been an amazing opportunity just to get to see the home again. Nonetheless, get to film it for you guys so you can see some of the stuff I did in the past. Because right now all you're seeing is this, all this new stuff that we've, that we've done and we're doing. This is really cool. I mean, this is seven years ago for me. This is, uh, I was a child, okay? Like literally I was uh, 24, all right? So this was, uh, this is really fun to see. Seriously, thank you so much to the Chernoff team for letting me come see it, for letting me be a part of this process with you guys. Not often I get to see the residual, you know, moments after I sell a home. So uh, thank you for letting me be a part of it. I wish everybody a ton of success on the, uh, the back end of this. And for all of you people out there, go follow Dennis, go see what he's doing on his Instagram channel, on his YouTube channel. Subscribe to my channel here. Like that bell button, like that like button. Let's people know just like you, they might like this too. I'll see you on the next video.